But are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Let's go. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp? Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the Biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed they would not. The Raffins, what about them? You expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Had a hard time leaving my family, too. I was never completely alone, either. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie? I'll remember that. We have arrived. Big bastard. If you like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Sol would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay, the Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Seems to be a lot of abandoned stations around. This one belonged to a corporation that ran a cement factory. They use it as their reloading point. They didn't take the train engine when they left? The engine's been here going on 40 years. Since the Blackwall days. For a time, everybody had to go back to the old ways. This engine ran on nuclear, like submarines do. All the weirder they left it behind. Corpse. They probably listed it in a spreadsheet as cost optimization. It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. But in your shoes, I would look for another way in first. Ah, 
That was quick. The stairs it is then. I've always been fond of trains. And the stations where so many tracks converge. <laughs> Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel... Free. Like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Okay, here we are. Nothing here. Got something. Good job. Carol, we have a card. What now? You have to put it in the reader. <sighs> Here goes nothing. Engine that could. V, I wanted to speak with you. Missed you. Pretty bad. Oh, well, this means. Oh, wait, just, just wait. This is not how we usually talk.
Don't have to if you don't want it. No, it's not that. I also wish to talk about it, just not so openly. My plan was to tiptoe around, test the waters, then retreat back into my shell. Sounds like a plan. What went wrong? It seems you saw right through me. Didn't have a clue how you'd react. You're not the only one shooting in the dark. I would not want to cock this up. Well, that's a start. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh, noticed. I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Why is it any different with me? Because I truly care this time. Yet I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close. If only as a friend. Try following the impulse next time. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right. Let's rejoin the others. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. Still Sit your ass down a minute, honey. And breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. Hurry up and wait then. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ah, was it someone I know? New. Scorpion. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. How to raise a glass to Scorpion. To Scorpion. And to Jackie. Mm -hmm. 
Saul was right about Snake Nation. You should remain independent. Otherwise, you could end up like... Like the backers. <laughs> we'll manage just fine on our own. All we need is a few good jobs. To get people talking about the Aldecaldos again. And that's why we're here today. Scorpion would be proud. We don't talk about the war much. What's there to say? They just packed you into a panzer down in Mexico and said full speed ahead, soldier. And it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard AI. Drinking iodide like water because your Geiger wouldn't shut up. Mm-hmm. I'm sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin. Uh-huh. But you all can't wait to pack your asses into the basilisk, huh? That's different. Completely different. You'll see once you're on board. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Anything happens, wake me up. Unless you want a nap, too. I'll just lie here a while. Fireside, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Uh, yeah. You do? Oh, dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, B. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, V.
plan, boss. All right, the train's leaving. You better move! see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am, you can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine, go right ahead. In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Well, you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. Got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was ten years old. Seems to still be in fine working order. Everything okay? Yes, of course. <laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. Family's with you on this, I think. Sure. Where did you get that impression? All I heard was silence. So I'm looking at that basilisk, drooling. Nomads, panzers, panzers, nomads. They haven't been start. We'll see. You need me again, all you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. 
So you better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care.